Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back and tonight I am going to go through how to prepare an SVG file from start to finish so that way it is ready for Silhouette Studio or Cricut Design Space for your customers. And if this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that like and subscribe button down below. That keeps me motivated to continue making this video so you can continue to grow your business and change your life. These will definitely make sure that you are well prepared to get these designs into your Etsy store or other selling platform. And let's begin. So the first thing that I am going to do is create some text. Now you're going to want to click on your text icon here. I already have my font selected because it was the last one I was using here called Hello Wedding. And I'll link to that below because it is a beautiful font. And I am just going to type out America. Okay. So you want to make sure that your aspect ratio is selected so that it is locked. That way you, when you expand your text, it does not get distorted. Now, most beginners would just leave this as is. We're not going to do that because then all these spaces where the letters are connected will not um, cut properly. You'll basically get a cut line through your letter and you don't want that. So to change that, you're gonna go up to your menu and click on path, object to path. And that is gonna go from a text to a path. And if you click here on this little node, you can um, go over the letters and see where it will actually cut into itself. So the next thing you'll do is click on object and just click on ungroup. And then you are going to go to path and union. For the purpose of this, I'm not going to use keyboard shortcuts. I'm just going to go through the menu. Um, as you get more familiar with the software, though, you should be able to pick up the keyboard shortcuts. So the next thing that we're going to do is create a heart. OK, so you're going to click on your rectangle tool and choose your color. And it doesn't really matter what size you make it because we're going to resize this. All right. And I am going to lock my aspect, unlock my aspect ratio. And I want this to be four inches by four inches. Okay. And I'm just going to drag this down here. And the next thing I'm going to do is create a circle. Hold down your control key to keep that uniform and let go. And make sure that your aspect ratio is locked for this. We're going to make sure the width or the diameter of our circle is the same width as the square that we created. OK, and the next thing that you will do is go over to edit pass by node and you'll see that this little circle comes up here. And we're going to create a semicircle. So to do that, you're going to hold down your control key, click on this and drag it around like so and then let go until you have your half circle. We'll click back on select and transform. And I'm going to click on this again so that I can get my rotation. And I'm just going to click on the control button and drag this around until I get it where I want it. OK, looks good. So to combine these two shapes where we want them to be, I'm just going to hold down the shift button and click on the square and open up your align and distribute panel and make sure that you have your relative to selected as last selected. That way it's going to anchor it to the square. Now I'm just going to center it and then I am going to um, align the bottom edges basically together. Now when you do this and you click away, you'll see this white line. It's really thin. So let me just zoom in there. Now what I normally do here is I just drag this down. Um, just a little bit to make sure that I'm getting a clean cut, okay? And you'll, you'll still see that white line, but it will go away. <clears throat> now we're going to duplicate this shape by pushing. Um, you can do this by clicking Control D, or you can right click and click on Duplicate, okay? We're going to drag that out, and then we are going to go up here and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees clockwise, okay? And then we're going to select our square and we are going to center those 
and then we are going to align the edges, okay? And then I'm just going to drag that in slightly so that way it gets rid of that white line and recenter, and we have our heart. So I'm going to go ahead and select all of these and then go to Path, Union, and then we're going to go ahead and rotate this guy so that it is standing up straight. Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Good. So I am going to make sure the aspect ratio is locked. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And I am just going to center this to the page. Okay, now I have an American flag SVG opened up that I use pretty regularly. And I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in. Okay, so you'll notice when I copy this over, not everything is colored in because I do not have them here on this bottom bar. So I'm just going to go ahead and ungroup all of this. All right. And then I am going to click. And color in each section. All right. Okay, good. So now I'm going to select everything up again and I'm going to group that. And then I'm just going to make this bigger. And then I am going to send that to the bottom. I'm going to change the color of the heart to a darker color. It doesn't matter what color you really change it to. It's just for display purposes, really. And then I'm going to drag this to where I want it to go. And that should be OK. We're going to duplicate this heart twice by right clicking and clicking duplicate. You can also achieve the same thing by hitting control D. Okay, and so now that we have that situated, we are going to ungroup the flag and click on our first heart. and go to Path, Intersection, and you'll see that go away. We'll click on our second heart, and then click on the red area, and go to Path, Intersection. And this is going to be a little bit tough because I can't see. And then we're going to go to the white part and click on Path, Intersection. And do 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 do. We have an American flag heart. Pretty cool, huh? So one thing I will note is that um, if you remove the white part here, you just have a solid blue and we don't want that. So we're going to take it one extra step. Okay. So to take it one step further, we're going to duplicate the white part because again, we want these stars subtracted from the background and you can do this by hitting control D or going to your menu and clicking duplicate. And then you are going to click on the blue part of your, um, design and then select the white part and go to path difference, okay? So now when you move this away, you can see that it is not a solid blue, right? So we're gonna go ahead and group, whoops, go ahead and group all this together, and then we're gonna group all this together, and then I'm going to click save, and we will go open this up in Silhouette Studio. I'm gonna probably take a minute to load. Okay, so we have our SVG here, and when I click on this, everything is grouped together. When I click on send, you can see that everything will cut out beautifully. And similarly, when I go back to the design and I ungroup everything, that blue portion as the stars cut out. Okay. So that's silhouette studio there. Now, when I do the same thing for Cricut design space, I'm going to presume that I have a clean cut file as well. So we'll go ahead and check that. So far so good. And we're going to insert that in. And you can see the file is stupid big. So we're just going to change the size. And you can see here, 
everything looks beautiful. You have your text being cut out, your red part, your white part, and your blue part. So when you click on make it, everything is beautifully matted. You just have to, uh, customer just has to do the layering portion, how they see fit. And that's that. So that is how you design something in Inkscape from start to finish. Okay. I showed you guys the script text and how you can subtract other elements from other elements um, to make sure that everything is absolutely 100% ready for your customers. Okay. If you guys have any questions about this, feel free to ask me below in the comments or trot on over to my Facebook group and join up or you can ask anything. I'm sure if you have the question, other people do as well. And if you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below because that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos for you beautiful people. And in turn, this will make you a better designer and it will skyrocket your business so that way you can make a good passive income from these designs that you create. So if you all need anything else, let me know. Look for the video where I walk through Affinity Designer on the same um, design and I will catch y'all later. Have a good one.